What's up everyone? This is a very exciting day for me. Sluice Boy Prospecting has come a long way. We're gonna do our first real dig for some gravels with an excavator, small excavator. Um, put a huge road in here, making this place accessible for years to come. We'll have years and years of dredging and mining here. But we're gonna sample this. If you look over here, it's all tailings piles. There's creeks on both sides. Creeks on both sides here. We're calling this area the flats. It's a nice flat area. Great place for gold to fall. Surrounded by mountains on every side. And we got to stay 25 feet away from the creek to be legal. We're going to do a sample hole right here. My guess is there's going to be gravels coming from where this river probably used to run this way. Hopefully, right here is the spot. Let's see it. We'll get back to you with some sample pans and see what it looks like. Come on.
big ranch in there too. Yeah. Oh. This stuff is hard to dig. Gold, gold in the rock. Okay, so we're in this hole. I'm in this hole. We got about, looks like about two feet of red clay overburden. And then we start here with the river gravels. Comes down about, maybe about seven, eight inches of red gravels. And then we got about four to five inch layer of black pack gravels. We're going to pan this stuff up. All right. We'll be back. But look here. This is 100% virgin gravel. I know from dredging a lot around here in Georgia. But that black pack, I call it black pack, it's completely stuck together like concrete. And it is definitely virgin. So here got about you should be about the same we got about two to three feet of red clay overburden and then there's about see, there's about six inches of red gravel and then there's about there's about uh, five inches of this black stuff but this gravel line all through here never been touched Hopefully some gold, and then that's the bedrock there, mica cyst bedrock. Pretty, ex pretty exciting stuff here. Gotta go do another hole now. We got two different storms, so. And there could be another one under it. No, there's bedrock. We're at bedrock underneath it. So, this black layer is the oldest stuff in out here. I've seen it before dredging. It's completely untouched by man. It's all. There's nothing man-made in it. There'll be gold on the top of this black pack because it would have acted as bedrock when the red layer was formed. And then there'll be gold underneath the black pack. We are going to pan this up. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Nice little one. This mica bedrock is so shiny. Everything looks like gold. But there's a nice little chunk. Oh, another one next to it. Yeah, that's gold. It's got a lot of hard pack on it. Yeah, that's gold as well. It's just all that black pack all over it. There's that market. That's definitely gold. Let me get this wash back. A bunch of little colors in there, too. Yeah, two nice chunks. Two nice chunks. Looks like different kind of gold, different sources maybe. 
This one's darker, that one's brighter. Beautiful. That'll add up. All right. We've got another pan to go right behind it. All right, guys, this is the, the virgin ground we're pulling out. Again, I wanted to tell you when you get into this virgin ground, this is mostly what it looks like. This stuff is all rocks. It's extremely stuck together. I don't even know if uh, a little trauma or something will bust this up. Need some heavy duty spray bars. But this is what we're finding here in, this, in these little pits. Very shallow though. It's pretty common for Georgia. A couple feet down and boom, you're on gravel. Very exciting stuff. Gonna go pan this up now. Did a few pans, only getting a couple little colors. Very, very disappointing. Been getting better pans in the creek. So maybe we're just in a bad high bedrock area or something low grade. Or maybe that's why they left it behind because it was low grade material. And it's only a couple inch layer anyway, so it was really shallow, whatever this stuff was. So we're going to go pan this up and find out, but we'll probably be panning this for a few hours. All right, we'll be back.